everyone, it's Lucy from KeepBeautyHobby.com. Today I have some Yes Style makeup to share with you. I won most of these in a giveaway. I do have an affiliate discount code with Yes Style, KB Hobbit, and I will be putting links in the description box for all of the things shown today. If you tried any of them, let me know, or if you have alternatives in mind that maybe work better for you, also let me know. I already have my base makeup on which is just basically my skincare, sunscreen, Etude House primer. If you're interested in that, check out my makeup favorites video. I used Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream and then a little bit of Buckwheat Powder by Skin Food. So the next step is eyebrows. I typically just use an eyebrow mascara, but I did win this eyebrow tint and uh, let's try that. It is in the color 01 Gray Brown. And it's this Riri Rire brand. If you know for sure how to pronounce it, let me know. It looks like this. I have tried this already because I am very scared of things like that and to try them on camera for the first time ever. The little fork thing looks like this. My camera doesn't want to focus on it. It is a pretty dark color. So I typically tint my eyebrows once a month. I did dye my hair yesterday but I didn't do my eyebrows because I think it is more noticeable, the effect of this product, if my eyebrows are not tinted. It is really, really easy to use. I just do short strokes starting from the part closest to my nose and then just try to fill in the little areas that maybe don't have as much hair. But with this color, it is really easy to go really dark really fast. So I would caution you to start slowly, especially if you're not a pro. I'm definitely not a pro. I'm a lot more into skincare than I am into makeup. Although I can appreciate good makeup and I do enjoy playing with it. But as far as having the energy and the motivation to do decorative makeup every day, that's definitely not about me. I usually put on a powder and mascara and call it good. I think you can probably see the difference between the two eyebrows and this is me going very lightly. I really like the color. A lot of the times when I watch makeup tutorials or reviews, the eyebrow products, especially the Korean ones, tend to be on the warmer side and they almost look reddish. And while I have red hair, I really don't want red eyebrows. And this one has a really nice cool brown tint, probably because it's called the gray brown. So I really like that. And it actually stays where I put it really well. I'm still going to put my beloved eyebrow mascara on. This is by Nature Republic. And the color is 01 as well, just like the brow tint. The brow mascara does add a little bit of a color, although I'm not sure you'll be able to notice that with this tint being used first. But what I like about brown mascaras in general is they kind of keep the hairs all in place, almost working like a brow gel, just to make sure that things don't get too crazy. I have really thick eyebrows, and if I didn't tweeze them or shape them, they're basically two really big straight lines. The next product in the bundle is this Black Rouge Pearl Valley Glitter. Looks like this like that. It looks like almost a eyeliner, like a gel eyeliner. However, the color payoff, or there's not even a color to it, it's glitter, and it looks really bizarre. So putting it on my hand, you can see right there, it's just a little bit of a glitter and no black base to it. I thought when I ordered it that I would use it as almost like a black glittery eyeliner. However, there's just no black in it, even though it's the black version. So I'm going to put eyeliner first and then put a little bit on top of that. So I'm going to use this McQueen New York black eyeliner first, and then I'll put a little bit of that glitter on top and we'll see what that looks like. And this eyeliner is wonderful. I have hooded eyes and a lot of things imprint on my upper lid, but not this. So this is the eyeliner without the glitter. And like I said, it's one of my favorites. It just lasts really well. It's easy to take off and it doesn't smudge even on my hooded eyes, even in the summer. Now the glitter, when I used it by itself without the eyeliner, 
it definitely imprinted a little bit on my upper lid. Oh, see, I think on top of eyeliner, it actually looks really good. I wish the glitter had a black base, so you could just use that as an eyeliner instead of layering it on top of another thing. It's very subtle, but I like it. Although I wouldn't necessarily go that extra step, I would probably just stop at the eyeliner if I didn't win this glitter thing. Next is probably my favorite part of this whole bundle, and it's Colored Mascara. It's a totally new to me brand. Let's see, it's called Sue Vimi. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because I probably am. It's a brand from Taiwan, and they make mascaras in all these different colors, and I picked this color number four. Uh, it's an olive mascara and I saw on the brand's Instagram that they would take a little eyeliner brush and dip it in the mascara on the wand and then actually use it as eyeliner. I'm not going to even attempt that because I know I'll either poke my eye out or make a total mess but as mascara I actually really like it. I have been using this almost every day just as my regular mascara it does a really good job lengthening the lashes, but it really doesn't do much for the volume. So if you have already thick lashes and you just want to lengthen them, or you only want the color part, then this is a good choice. But if you want the volume, this is not a mascara for that. See the difference? Decent lengthening, the size done, this one is not, but not much volume. It is a polymer mascara or a tubing mascara, meaning it comes off with just water. It kind of like slides off as little tubes. So it doesn't give you raccoon eyes. And even if you cry in it, it as long as you don't touch it, it doesn't flake or smudge. And if you start touching it, it just comes off in these almost like, I don't know, shreds. I don't have a good description for that. I personally love mascaras like that because I don't... If I don't have to, I don't use separate eye makeup remover. And sometimes cleansing oils actually don't do the best job at getting eye makeup off. So if I can get away with just water on the eyes for mascara, then that's great for me. So there it is. The color is noticeable when the light hits it. I can definitely tell that it has that green pearlescent tint to it, but you can't just at first glance I don't think look at it and say oh she's wearing green mascara so kind of like it but i also wish it were a little more dramatic so i kind of want to try some of their other colors they have things that look like copper and some of these lighter shiny colors i don't know what that actually looks like on the lashes but i'm curious next thing i'm so excited about it is the cleo prism highlighter i am a total noob when it comes to highlighting i don't contour anything i am stuck way in the 90s or whatever before people did the contouring but i enjoy good highlighter sometimes and sometimes i even use them as eyeshadows and this one just it looks gorgeous like look at that this is so pretty this is the color 01 gold sheer and i just love the texture even of it i I am, like I said, not a huge makeup person, but I really appreciate some of these beautiful packages and some of the presentations, just so nice. I am only going to put a little bit just right here on the cheeks. And this promises to give you the appearance of a healthy, glowy complexion. And I can see the difference when I wear it and kind of see a little bit, but it's not very dramatic. And I'm going to put just a tiny bit under my eyebrows with this blending brush. And I know it's probably not the brush you're supposed to use, but that's the brush I use. Eyeshadow is hard with hooded eyes, so I very rarely wear it. I will sometimes for YouTube videos, and I did learn how to do eyeshadow on my hooded eyes. But most of the time I prefer just a little something like the highlighter or a little bit of just a sheer color or even a little bit of something shimmery and it just works better for me and it's less effort on the daily basis if I even wear anything on my eyes on the daily basis. Now we have this Siam single brusher in the color 03 knit beige 
and it is such a cool color. I typically go for like peachy and super, super sheer blushes, and this one is a little bit darker than that. So it almost looks as a bronzer on me because I'm so pale, but I actually really like it. And I just put a little bit right in these areas to make my face look a little bit more elongated because I have a rounded face, although today I'm noticing on camera it looks quite a bit thinner than typically. And I don't know if it's because I hiked two miles with my toddler in tow today for exercise and then we brought in a dresser for him. We dragged that into the house with my husband and I don't know if it's like uh, weight loss or exhaustion just showing on my face today. So again, really subtle, which is the theme with me in general for makeup, but I can tell the difference and hopefully you can too. And if you're somebody who is brave with makeup and wears all these bright colors, and is not so shy with the amount of product you apply like I am. I think you could make some really wonderful things with this. I really like this product and it doesn't uh, cake on my skin. I have combination skin and throughout the day. Sometimes some areas get oily, but I haven't had any problems with any of the makeup things actually that I mentioned today, aside from maybe the eye glitter that does sometimes print on my top lid. Although now that I'm looking at it, putting it on top of that other liner, I don't see any imprinting and without the liner by now I had imprinting so maybe that's the way to use it just on top of another liner. For the lip this wasn't part of the giveaway package it's just something I own and really like it's the Keep Cool they have these two-toned lip tints or lip balms and it looks like this. The color is called Ash Rose. I talked about them in my makeup favorites. Is it makeup favorites or the lip favorites? I don't know, one of the favorites videos. I've mentioned these on my channel a few times because they're so nice. I cannot do the iconic gradient lip to save my life, but this kind of lets you cheat, uh, cheat the process. The only thing is to do the upper lip, you have to flip this upside down because you want the darker color to be more toward the middle. And sometimes I'll go back in with uh, just the darker color and add some. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, be nice. I'm a real person. I do read all the comments. Don't hurt my feelings too bad. I've been getting so much hate mail lately. It's just been amazing. I think I tell myself it's because I'm so famous now, but no, probably not. It's just because people are jerks. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have some constructive criticism, let me know. I will see you in my next video. Until then, you can find me on Instagram at kbeautyhobbit, on my blog, kbeautyhobbit.com, and in my Facebook group, Korean Beauty Fanatics, we just hit 40,000 members today, which is super exciting. And we're growing so fast that by the time I actually publish this video, we'll probably be at 42 or 43,000. I don't know. It's just been amazing. If you're already part of the group, thank you so much. Love having you there. Anyway, I will talk to you in my next video. And until then, please remember to always listen to your skin. Thank you so much. Bye.